So, Willoughby, may I introduce... I know who it is. Sharp. The worst-dressed booger in England. That's what they told me. And I thank them for it. What's the point of having a fancy uniform if you haven't got a man inside it? Hey, Wickham. What indeed, Sir Willoughby? What indeed, Sir Willoughby? How do you manage to be so damn polite and so damn rude at the same time? Must be all that blue blood, eh, Sharp? Indeed, Sir Willoughby. Ah, touché, Sharp. Touché. I heard you had a skirmish already, is that right, Wickham? If it wasn't for Major Sharp, I doubt I would be here now, Sir Willoughby. Mixed blessing, eh, Sharp? <laughs> Mixed blessing. <laughs> no offence, George. No offence. Nice to have a real soldier with us at last day. Eh? Put the fear of God into that thieving scum. Welcome to my humble home, Sharp. I've built it myself and I've regretted it ever since. It cost a fortune to build and it costs even more to heat. <laughs> The war spoiled them. Wages went up and up. They grew fat and idle. Question of demand, you see. Uniforms for you soldier boys, etc. Now we're all struggling to keep our heads above water. But instead of buckling down, they're fighting us. Have you heard of the machine breakers, Major Sharp? I have not. Machine breakers, mill burners. They believe that the machines will destroy their livelihoods. Therefore, they destroy the machines. Lord Stanwyck has already suffered several attacks. Oh, they'll not drive me under yet. I'll outsmart them. I've got a steam engine coming from Bolton. Does the work of 60 horses. Give you a bit of competition, eh, Perfect? I welcome competition, Percy. I welcome it. Machines mean progress. They mean we can make cheaper cotton, produce more, export more. Wealth through progress. Not through burning my mills and Sir Percy's. Keep the mills safe, Sharp. Keep Sir Percy in business. Now, that's your job. And whenever we get the chance, teach the scum a lesson they won't forget. By your accent, you're a local man, Sharp. I am, sir. Well, where from, man? Keithley? Skipton? Where? I don't clearly know, sir. I'm an orphan. Don't apologise for it, Richard. I don't. I'm glad to hear so, son. Hardly your doing, was it? I might have been one myself. Oh, Lord, not this again, Willoughby. I speak as I find, Percy. Them streets raise me, Richard, not any parents. Age of eight, I was selling scrap from a barra. Age of 14, I had 12 barras, and I was paying my mother a respectable wage to push one for herself. Look at me now. Rattling around in this drafty old pile like a pea in a piss pot. And look at yourself, Richard. Orphan boy, became a major and took the froggy eagle at Vittoria. Now that is what I call progress. Talavera. Major Sharp took the eagle at Talavera. Talavera, then. Foreign doings. It's all one to me. It's not all one to me, Perfect. I lost a son at Talavera. Died of wounds received. Both legs shot off. He wrote to me after the battle. He didn't talk about himself. He talked about Sharp. Apple of me eye. To you, Sharp. Thank you, sir. <laughs> 